That's nice. Hi, my name is Mel. Come along with me as I explore, travel, adventure, and create photography. This is Miniature, the home for my adventure stories. So, 
Kanye po sa Palawan, marami pong squares dito. At sa Char, they also hand squares din po sa mountain. So, meron silang sariling technique or way kung paano po nila tinatawag or ina-attract ang birds and squares. So, let's listen to the sound of tapios. So, they use tapios to imitate sounds of birds or squares po. So, kapag visible na po ang ibon or ang squares, so, they just need to ready their sapukan. And now, ipapakita po nila sa inyo kapag paano nila ginagamit ang sapukan sa bundok. Yung target po nila, yung dry white paint po doon sa karton. So, tingin po kayo doon yun po yung target. Wow! So, they can hit further than that. Actually, they can hit 30 meters away and they use sapukan for long range target po pang malayuan. So, kapag nag-hunt po sila ng malalaking hayop, patod ng mga wild boar o ng mga monkeys, naglalagay sila ng lason sa dulo ng kanilang mga bala. Ito yung tawag na santikan and santikan means friction. So, ang gagamitin niya po, piece of metal, place pen or buhay na bato, and their native cotton. They call that lublog. So, the purpose of the cotton is to catch the spark of stone. So, to strike lang po, nakakatch na po siya ng spark kapag may usok na. So, kapag visible na po ang usok, i-transfer niya po yun sa dry glass at i-hipan to make bigger fire. So, pabilis na po yung way nila ng paggawa ng apoy sa bundok. So, sa mountain po, they don't need matches or lighters para makagawa ng apoy. They just need to blow it. So ito po, tanta ng white pili na pinalot nila ng dahon. They call this salong or saging. Saglit lang po. Okay na. Oh my gosh. Busog siya. Busog. Okay, good. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to watch more videos, just search mini tour. Remember, no space. And see you in the next adventure. Bye!